Hello everyone, my name is Ronnie Cohn and I'm a pediatrician and geneticist and I'm currently the president and CEO of the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto, Canada. I would like to thank all of you for your incredible support of our research in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It is support like yours that allows us scientists to pursue exciting outside-the-box research projects that carry a very high potential for changing the therapeutic landscape for boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. With your support, we are currently investigating how we can use a novel approach of editing a mutation in the dystrophin gene and at the same time trying to upregulate and increase dystrophin expression. We are very excited about this research. My graduate student, Matthew Rock, will now explain our research in more detail. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Ronnie. So hello everyone, I'm Matthew Rock, a fourth year PhD student in molecular genetics at the University of Toronto, and I'm currently working on this project. So with our work here, what we're really aiming to do is enhance our existing approach for fixing DMD duplications using the genome editing tool CRISPR-Cas9. Now this tool lets us use a protein called Cas9 to cut DNA at a desired spot. And this opens many possibilities for fixing disease-causing mutations. And most importantly for us, this includes DMD. So last year, our lab published work which showed we could correct a very large DMD duplication in mice using Cas9. The duplication was removed as shown here by cutting within the original and duplicated DNA of the dystrophin gene, which removed the now duplicated DNA, restoring the full length dystrophin. The mice themselves recovered substantial dystrophin protein and showed improved muscle function. However, we didn't see complete disease recovery, and even the highest amounts of dystrophin that we saw were just below the minimum levels needed to fully protect muscle. So we really wanted to improve the strategy and decided to use CRISPR in a totally different way. By modifying the Cas9 and targeting the part of a gene called the promoter, the amount that gene is expressed can be greatly increased, and we call this upregulation. So if at the end of the day, we want to get more dystrophin, why not just upregulate the dystrophin gene itself with CRISPR in combination with our original duplication removal strategy? To do both simultaneously would normally be too complicated to even consider as a therapy, but we have found a solution that simplified our strategy enough to make this entire project possible in the first place. At the beginning of our first year of funding, we had already shown that in mouse cells, we can use a modified Cas9 to upregulate dystrophin. However, this modified Cas9 had more difficulty cutting DNA, so our primary progress since last year has involved much testing to get past this hurdle. We were successful and even identified a second Cas9 variant that we can use in our mouse experiments. So we are currently on track with our timeline, having wrapped up the first aim of this project and being well underway with our second. Our DMD duplication mice have been given a local injection into their leg muscles with viruses carrying our combined editing and upregulation system. And we're currently determining how much dystrophin was recovered in these muscles, as well as any potential improvements we can make to our strategy. We anticipate this year to move on to our final aim, which is the systemic treatment of our mice with this strategy, which will let us target all the muscles throughout the body. Our greatest hope really is that we will recover even higher levels of dystrophin than we've seen before, which can stop DMD in its tracks and further demonstrate the therapeutic potential of combining existing strategies for DMD with CRISPR upregulation of dystrophin. Thank you.